When you're designing a piece of furniture, there is always so many options that you have to work out. For this chair, some of the options included um, height of the seat, angle of the seat, position of the armrests, how high they were, whether there is even armrests included or not, um, the, the angle in the, in the back, how high it was going to be, how wide, will the legs be straight, keep it really simple, put them on a bit of an angle, on and on and on. There's so many options. Join me in this video so I'll, I can show you how I, I designed this chair. I only had one pallet and I wanted to, to make it a, a, a pretty simple chair but still be comfortable to sit on, uh, look pretty nice. And uh, we'll go over uh, a bunch of the options. After a few quick sketches to work out some basic functional and aesthetic details, I grabbed some popsicle sticks and made a really simple model by cutting and shaping the pieces, then using a hot melt glue gun to quickly fasten everything together. In order to get the overall dimensions right, I measured a patio chair that my trusty dog spent some quality time with. To make a full size model, I used some cheap 3 quarter inch melamine particle board and ripped a bunch of strips to the same width as the pallet wood I was going to work with. I stuck with angles either square or 5 or 10 degrees off square, mainly to keep the process simple. I cut most of the parts for the mock-up to length, but when in doubt I left the parts a little longer than needed, as I could always shorten them up later on. With the main chair parts ready for action, I started to assemble my mock-up. Screws work great for this purpose as they're quick and strong and could be removed to make any adjustments I needed along the way. A super simple seat, an ultra easy backrest and it was just about done. There we go. So the prototype's done. It's made out of uh, 3 quarter inch particle core, which is quite weak. But I've placed it in between my uh, outfield table on my fence, on my table saw, and my router table here. And I also put this um, base underneath it so that if things really do go south, I won't. Um, hopefully it feels good. Let's see. actually feels pretty good. The height is good. Mind you, I'm a little bit shorter than average. Uh, the seat back is quite comfortable. It's the right angle for the seat and, and back. Um, the armrest could be a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm good. Let's do it. All in all, this design process turned out pretty well. I have uh, a chair design that I can uh, build now. I think it really, uh, I really kept to the, to the keep it simple, smart guy approach. A few things that I will do, lengthen the armrest a little bit, shorten the, uh, the sides at the, at the top. I'm going to have an apron going across the front and another one across the back here. Depending on if I need it, if it's, if it's not strong enough, I may also add some, some cross braces at the back. They won't really be seen, but they'll definitely stop the chair from, from racking back and forth a little bit. All the elements that I used here all came from three inch wide, three quarter inch thick stock, and it all came from one pallet. You may not come across the same type of pallet. There's lots of different types out there. So you may need to have a second pallet or just grab a little bit of extra lumber. So go grab yourself a pallet, maybe two, and see if you can't build yourself a chair. Well, with the design settled, it's time for me and my, my trusty partner to take this pallet apart. Should just take a, maybe a minute or so.
got to call in the heavy artillery. It's just a little bit harder than I thought. Well, that took a little longer than I anticipated. I eventually had to get my jigsaw out. Luckily, I didn't need the whole length of the of the board, so I was able to chop the, the the middle section out with my jigsaw and be able to use it that way. A little harder than I thought, but uh, probably took me about 12-14 uh, minutes in total. Now, if you want to see the whole article, you got to read our August, sorry, our October November issue, 2016, and you can learn how I actually build this chair. Thanks for joining in. We'll talk to you soon.